Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 356. G6PD Deficiency. What kind of inheritance is G6PD Deficiency? G6PD Deficiency has an X-linked inheritance. What are the consequences of G6PD Deficiency? If there is G6PD deficiency, this will lead to decrease in glutathione. And when there is decrease in glutathione, there is increased red blood cell susceptibility to oxidative stress. And when oxidative stress occurs, this will lead to hemolytic anemia. Give some examples of the oxidative stressors. Examples of oxidative stressors include sulfa drugs, infections, and flava beans. Describe the lab findings associated with G6PD deficiency. The lab findings seen with G6PD deficiency will show red blood cells with Heinz bodies. And Heinz bodies are a denatured hemoglobin. Now when there is denatured hemoglobin inside red blood cells, the macrophages will recognize this denatured hemoglobin and will try to remove it by taking a bite off the cell. And therefore, in G6PD deficiency, you see bite cells. Describe the clinical presentation of G6PD deficiency. The clinical presentation of G6PD deficiency is back pain, followed by hemoglobinuria a few days later due to the hemolysis. Is G6PD deficiency an intravascular hemolysis or an extravascular hemolysis? Hemolysis and G6PD deficiency can occur both intravascularly and extravascularly. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.